It's 10 o'clock in the morning and I'm all packed and ready to hit the trail. We have a serious slime pit in the forest. I'm waiting for a hand with six fingers to rise up from the slime. It is September 11th and I'm camping on a lake, have everything set up, and this is the 20th anniversary of September 11th, 2001, a very sad anniversary, and I am in nature remembering that day, and Mother Nature heals. We are getting close to sunset, and this is the golden hour of light. And I would like to complain that the weather is too nice. There are no interesting clouds to catch the light. It's just crystal clear sky and the beautiful sun. So I don't know if I'm gonna get one of those nice time lapses with the, the clouds glowing, but I'll, I'll still enjoy the sunset. Like clockwork, the beaver is going out for its sunset swim. This is the mellow beaver. This lake has a mellow beaver. The other lake has the bad ass beaver. This beaver is gentle and it doesn't drag campers into the water and then do the barrel death roll. This is a gentle beaver. The beaver submerged and I started to hear the Jaws music and there was a young couple swimming in the lake. So with the Jaws music, we were a little concerned, but then the beaver popped up in the middle of the lake. So we realized that it wasn't going for the legs of this young couple. Like I said, this is a gentle beaver. A beautiful sunset on the lake with the golden light. There are very large mosquitoes on this lake. It's Sunday morning, September 12th. The weather is clear and cool. It's starting to feel like autumn. Last night I had a little campfire. Last night I got some nice time lapses of some slugs. So it was a slugfest. Here's a view of the lake. Last night I sat up on 
one of the rocks up there to look for meteors. I didn't see any meteors, but got to enjoy the stars. So I'm gonna hike out today. One last look at the lake before I hit the trail. It's 10 o'clock in the morning. I'm all packed and ready to hit the trail. I'm gonna swing by the Druid Tea Garden on the way out. I'm at the Druid Tea Garden and I'm gonna find a shady spot to uh, set up my chair, have some oatmeal and a cup of joe. The Druid Tea Garden is pretty exposed, so I'm pretty happy that I was able to find a cool, shady spot. Time for a yummy oatmeal break in the Druid Tea Garden. We have nature's little scrubbing brushes. These ants are helping me clean off my spoon and they're getting a good meal. So it's a win-win. I'm taking a coffee break in the Druid Tea Garden and there's this tree that looks like a cherry tree. Is this a cherry tree growing in the middle of the wild? Now the cherries are much smaller than the uh, typical cherries you find in the grocery store, but is this a cherry tree? Is it like a wild cherry tree where the, tr where the cherries are smaller? So I don't want to eat something if I don't know what it is, but this looks like a cherry tree. Right next to what I think is a cherry tree is a white oak tree. The white oak has leaves with soft curved uh, lobes rather than pointy lobes. And I could see the acorns in the tree. It's tough to see in this video, but there are acorns in the tree. Now the white oak is supposed to be one of the sweeter, less bitter oaks. I think it has a, uh, a, a lower amount of tannin in it. So it's much easier to process the white oak. So, so far in the Druid Tea Garden, we have blueberries, we have the Eastern White Pine to make tea, we have quite possibly a cherry tree, and now we have the sweet white oak. So the Druid Tea Garden, just hanging out here, is uh, revealing all of these potentially edible plants. Here's another beautiful nearby lake. I wonder what kind of berries these are. Here's a look at the uh, bush that the berries came from. It's a little late in the season for berries. I'm used to blueberries coming in, you know, in July, June. But uh, these berries are late, later in the season. And um, don't know what kind of berries they are. Got to find out. I know that there's been a lot of bear poop with berry seeds, a lot of berry seeds, and I'm wondering if the bears are eating these berries. So let me get a close up of the leaves. Close up of the leaves. Close up of the berries. And then when the berries ripen, they start to have like a pink color. So I'm gonna learn about these new berries, what type of berries they are. Thank you for watching Big Apple Backpacking.